Hello, everyone. Namaste. My name is Melissa with Madhava Unite Yoga, and this is the Yoga Elementals Exploration Program. Week one is designed to uh, explore the root element, so the earth element. The earth element being how we connect to the earth, how we connect to the planet, uh, our diet, our, our appetite, and our shelter, really. How are we feeling supported in where we live, in our homes, getting into exploring about what makes up the home and how that, that makes us feel uh, more grounded so that we can connect more in, in, in the world through our foundations, right? Through how we are taking care of ourselves and nourishing ourselves. So week one is really just diving into those, those aspects of our lives from a very uh, instinct, which really the whole Madhava Unite yoga program is designed to tap into our instinctual genius our experiences that we that we carry and we download in our body the earth element uh, doesn't forget right the earth doesn't forget and we see this in the minerals and the crystals that carry information similarly to the vehicles of our body before we can begin working on uh, tadasana it's important that we take a look at our feet and just acknowledge them thank you feet for having walked on the surfaces and and been our sort of plug and navigation tool through life right this this is how we kind of walk around all the places we've been and the sensations we felt sand on our feet maybe we walked on some really hot pavement and burned our feet or women who've worn high heels and maybe have some scars on their toes to show it. I know I do on a few of them. But now so we, you can lift the toes to activate the inner arch of the feet. A lot of the times, many of us walk around collapsing on the insteps of the feet. And what this does is over time starts to tear down the connective tissues around the knees, especially and around the hips and the legs. So activating the inner arch of the feet will begin to build the seat from the ground up, right? From the root up. The mountain is born from the earth and rises up, but the mountain is rooted down. So, when you come to bring the big toes to touch, heels to touch, hands along the side, the gaze is forward. The gaze is what's known in yoga as drishti. And what drishti does is it starts to merge now the intention with the practice in a way that the dichotomy of this and that sort of dissipates, it disappears. It's a sense of taking everything in, looking at the whole. So it's, we live we're in going very... to play with plank by inhaling forward, remembering the four directions of the body, the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. So again, we're going to rotate the shoulders down, but push through the back heels, draw the navel in, breathe up into the upper chest, but fill out with the ujjayi breath, victorious breathing. So inhale. Exhale, right foot forward, inhale. For Vira Bhadrasana one, for Vira Bhadrasana one, you can pivot the back foot so that it's facing forward, carrying Tadasana with you. So rooting down through the hips and the buttocks from the navel down as if you were sinking into mother earth herself. She's opening up the ground for you to kind of settle in. So to navigate how you want to bridge from the navel up into the more etheric, into the more wall, air, you press earth. your right palm, your left palm into the wall to suggest that the right hip goes back in line with the left. Feeling a front of thigh stretch. Keep pushing through the Achilles tendon in the back. Lifting up. It's nice to sometimes make some small, as if you were bringing water up and then exhale, allowing it to fall around you. Inhale, 
Exhale. Inhale. Another one is also drawing the bow back. We have lymphatic drainage around the pubic bone, front of hips, and also in the armpits. We go over this in Amada V Unite consultation where we talk about lymphatic drainage and how to assist the lymph flow as we work through the yoga practice and with our diet and specific herbs and things we can play with to just assist the body. Place a blanket the you can underneath the body. heels and bring the earth more up to you. If the heels don't reach the earth, that's fine. You can always bring the earth up to you and meet you where you're at. She's happy to do so. The most important thing is that we're supported. You can always raise the earth. Dharma of life, of life and the work of life. Right. So these dynamic movements now feeling the, the rooting down through the hips and the buttocks and the feet, the support of the legs. You can inhale the left arm up next to the left ear, but making sure not to drop the head back. We want the cervical spine to be an extension of the rest of the spine. Exhale, you can hold this here. Can also now flow into the inhale, allow the back hand to make its way down the leg and exhale, scoop the back arm now up next to the right ear. Inhale up, do this a few times, exhale. Keep pushing through the back heel and the front leg. Exhale. Can even take the hand and start to Brush the skin. The skin carries information and in cells within the epidermis, the integumentary system. The skin has a, tons of, of, it's the biggest organ of the body. Is the skin. And yet now we see these days too, a lot of skin disease, right? With eczema and With psoriasis Unite yoga and these yoga exercises, I've been so fortunate to be taught and learn and come to find is that we can practice little bits of this as we go along. I mean, you can do this at night when you're laying in bed, reading a book or maybe watching a TV show or a movie. Maybe you have someone who you'd like to, I mean, we did this as kids, you want to put on your feet and fly like Superman and Superwoman on your feet. But the inner leg is, is sort of saying, I, I'd rather not stretch right now or I'm, I'm not open to stretching in that way. By bringing the toes to touch, the inner leg starts to be more actively stretched instead of passively falling out. It's a play between active and passive and dynamic movements as we move through the series. But rotate. Toes. Relax. Feet. Relax. Legs. Relax. Hips. 